Hey, what's up? Welcome back, guys. So, pretty cool news that came out today that we have finally had the confirmation of our first Nintendo Direct in many, many, many months. This honestly would have been since even before E3. We had a, a Nintendo Direct gearing up for E3. E3 happened. A month and a half or so later was the unfortunate passing of Satoru Iwata. So, we all know that definitely ground a lot of things to a halt. Uh, most specifically, the Nintendo Directs, because that was kind of the thing that he sort of created and really pushed forward with forward within Nintendo. Um, so we've been really wondering and waiting to find out what's going to happen with Nintendo Directs. A month or two ago, it was confirmed that they will continue, but no news on what was going to be happening at that point. And just today, we finally found out that this Thursday, November 12th, we will have our first Nintendo Direct. And honestly, it's really kind of our first update on what's happening with Nintendo and new products and some of their messaging going forward now that we did have the recent passing of Iwata and what the real plan is going to be. So it's really exciting. Who knows what they're going to show? They did say it is going to focus on upcoming Wii U and 3DS games. So, hey, that's great. It's going to be a Nintendo Direct, the first one in a while. We're going to find out about games. You know, are we going to get updates on upcoming games uh, that we know about? Probably. I feel like we're going to get um, some information on Star Fox. I'm really hoping to find a bunch of Star Fox Zero information. Some information on Fire Emblem Fates for the 3DS. Probably Hyrule Warriors for the 3DS. Um, Xenoblade Chronicles, maybe. I feel like they've kind of stopped the real sort of, uh, marketing campaign and marketing push for that game. I hope not. Like, I want to see more. But at the same time, we've seen so much of the game over the past, you know, two years at this point. The game is just a few weeks away, dying to be playing it. Really excited. I've got a, my special edition pre-ordered for that, so I'll be getting that pretty soon. Um... And probably Mario Tennis, which is a game that I'm really just not all that interested in, so I guess we'll see how that plays out. Uh, it's going to be really interesting to see. Uh, the other thing is, are we going to get any um, updates or news about surprise titles? That would be fantastic, as if Nintendo used this first Direct since the passing of Iwata to actually surprise us and say, hey, here's a great title that you didn't know about that we can expect sometime next year. That would be really fantastic. What I, what I hope that this N Nintendo Direct isn't, is just a Nintendo Direct talking about stuff still to happen by the end of 2015. Devil's Third, by the way, is a game that sort of dropped off people's radar, but it would be nice to hear about that. So, I mean, if that was the case, I, I, don't, I don't think there's any 3DS games by the end of the year that we could look forward to. It would probably be Xenoblade, Mario Tennis, and Devil's Third. Those are the only three games I can think of between now and the end of the year. So hopefully they're willing to make it a fairly sizable and substantial presentation. I would love to hear from Reggie. Um, from Miyamoto and Bill Trin, and I assume those are the only guys we'd probably be hearing from. I'm sure they'll address what's happened with Iwata, but then pretty quickly move on to some happy stuff. And they got to talk about stuff beyond 2015. They have to start preparing us for the next year. Maybe they'll discuss when they're going to reveal the NX. I can't imagine they're going to really talk about the NX too much. But hopefully they'll say, hey, you know, by February or March, which is my running theory, um, we will be discussing and revealing the NX officially and giving you more details at that time. Um, there are some rumors that people have been, uh, discussing as well. Uh, the, the Twilight Princess HD has been the big one the last couple of weeks. And, you know, I, I recently discussed on a podcast with Terminator Juice my feelings on that. A, I really can't wait for the game. I did make a video discussing the rumor when it first showed up. I, I think that it would be a great idea and I hope that it's a real thing. So, you know, I hope that it, that it is a game that's being created and, you know, I'm, I'm kind of on the fence on if the rumors feel, you know, so, so commonly talked about that it must be real or so commonly talked about that there's no chance it's real. It's kind of in this weird little gray area where we just don't know. This Nintendo Direct would certainly be a great time to confirm it. And there's been so many rumors about the game that if it's going to be coming out, I feel like this will be the time to hear about it. Um, some other rumors about, like, a Mario Sunshine HD, which to me seems way more far-fetched than the Twilight Princess one. There's actually been rumors about a Twilight Princess remake, even for the 3DS, dating back over a year ago. So to me, if there's any sort of, you know, GameCube era, Wii era HD remake that we're going to be getting some, you know, along the lines of The Wind Waker, I feel like of any game that I could possibly think of, it's not going to be Metroid Prime, it's not going to be Mario Sunshine... Um, or even Galaxy, it's going to be Twilight Princess. Maybe a Twilight Princess and Skyward Sword thing? I've been hoping for that for a while, but I doubt it. Seems like Twilight Princess is the game that we've been hearing about for so long. It's probably going to be that. Um, 
you know, and are they going to talk about games for next year? Are they going to talk about <clears throat> some of the games I mentioned earlier? The Hyrule Warriors for 3DS, I feel like probably. Fire Emblem is almost a guarantee. Shin Megami Tensei Cross Fire Emblem? Not quite too sure about that one. I don't know really what's going on with that game in the States yet. We know it's coming, but I don't feel like they're spending much time on that anytime soon. You know, Star Fox Zero. I feel like it'd be great to get, like, the actual release date for Star Fox Zero. We know it got delayed to 2016, quarter one 2016. I feel like it's either going to be coming out in March, or it's going to get one more final delay and become the May release for 2016. Nintendo's big May release. You know, echoing what happened with Mario Kart and um, Splatoon, and then maybe making that Star Fox. Uh, now, there are, I, again, I just had a great podcast with Terminator Juice. He discussed how maybe Zelda would be confirmed to be the May release, since we did just have that reconfirmed to still be having a Wii U release. Maybe that would be the May title. And I haven't been, like, super into the idea of, of really buying into that being a May title, but it's not impossible. It's a pretty good theory, and I would be beyond stoked if that were true. I just feel like this wouldn't be the time to announce it, so... You know, I mean, it's it's a great thing. At the end of the day, this is a, this is wonderful news. I'm very, very excited. I'm sure you're very excited, too. It's only two days away now, the first Nintendo Direct in a long time. There's a lot of things that are probably going to be culminating here. You know, the first time Nintendo will probably address the gaming fans and the gaming public about Iwata's passing. I'm sure we'll get some sort of small homage or a couple of words, you know, very respectful words said about the fact that that happened. And I think it's going to be a great time for Nintendo to finally address the gamer and say, hey, we're still here. We still got things to be excited for. Here are the games coming up soon. Maybe here's a couple surprises. Maybe here's when we're going to talk about the NX. Maybe here's Zelda. Maybe Pikmin? I really doubt Pikmin. So, I mean, who knows? It's just such a great mystery. I'm really hoping that they do the right things here. This could be something where we're so hyped because it's been so long that we have expectations that are probably too high. Or maybe it's the kind of thing where they really come out guns blazing and say, this is the Nintendo that we're going to be moving forward. We have a new president. This is what we're going to be doing, and this is why you should still care. And this is what to, you can be excited for in the next six months to next year. That's what I'm really hoping to get out of this. It's probably what you're hoping to get out of this. So I don't know, man, that's what's going on. November 12th, just two days from now, we're finally going to get our first Nintendo Direct. We're going to see what's going on with Nintendo. It's a really exciting thing. It's a super exciting time. What do you guys think about this? Are you as pumped as I am? What do you think about my theories? What things do you think might show up that maybe I didn't uh, address? So discuss that stuff below. Thanks as always for tuning in. This is Rob of Rule of Two Review, and I'll catch you guys next time on another video.